Hello everyone and welcome to my Christmas special. Before I get the video started, I'd just like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I hope that you enjoy your holidays. Now, let's get it started. <laughs> Today you join me on a mission. I'm here at this mall, the Oceans Mall. Just opened a few weeks ago in November. Um, today I'm here to see if I can find eggnog on the shelves of this mall. Yeah. Maybe checkers might have it. Well, if you're wondering why this is such a big deal, uh, I've actually never seen eggnog being sold in any like shopping mall, shopping center, grocery store ever. In fact, I've never ever tasted it, not even once. The only way I know it even exists is through like watching uh, Christmas movies over the holidays and seeing like kids and fair beads and stuff at the dinner table drinking it. Let's see if you can be as anything. Nothing that says eggnog here, just milkshakes. Maybe I'll have some luck here. Well guys, after going to all of those stores, nothing. Uh, I didn't find it anywhere. Now what do I do? Well, eggnog is something that you drink, so I'm guessing there must be a recipe for it somewhere online, shouldn't there? Let me check what Google has to say. Uh, recipe for eggnog. These came back from a search. Okay. There's a few uh, recipes that came up. I'm sure I'll be able to get these ingredients here in the store. Oh, and YouTube has a video of how to make it too. Okay, let's see what I can do. Let me just set up my makeshift kitchen here. I have a tabletop uh, Christmas tree that I got. Uh, I'm not sure how good the lighting is, whether you can see the actual lights on the tree. I'm not at a campsite today, as you might see. The uh, reason for that is actually a funny story. This is not the first time I've tried to record this video. Yeah, I got to the campsite and the tent wouldn't set up. The tent actually got torn while I was trying to set it up, so I'm not using that one anymore. Um, I guess I gotta get a new tent. And plus, I noticed when I was out there in the campsite, out in the sun, you wasn't able to see the lights on the Christmas tree. Uh, Christmas tree. I moved the Christmas tree on this side because I think it looks better over here. Yeah, so uh, the first video was a disaster, especially with the tent. So for this time, I uh, booked an Airbnb here in Amshlanga. Let me just show you a view. Couldn't find eggnog at the shops, huh? So today I am attempting to make it from scratch. Let's get started. Okay, we need six egg yolks. I don't really know how to separate the egg whites from the egg yolks, so I'm gonna crack it into this bowl and just scoop the egg yolks and put it into this other bowl. Now that I have my six egg yolks, I need to add 100 grams of sugar. Here's my six egg yolks, although uh, most of them got broken. Now I'm adding the sugar. Now you need to whisk the egg yolks and sugar until it is light, thick and fluffy.
That's okay. Let me set this aside. I need to get my gas stove. If you're at home watching this, you could probably use your own stove at home. But I have my gas stove here. You get a pot, put the heat on. You add two cups of milk, which is 480 ml. Then the recipe says to add uh, 240 ml of heavy cream but I couldn't find heavy cream in the shop so I found this double thick cream which sounds heavy I think it's the same thing Then you add a pinch of salt then a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon the recipe says to add a quarter teaspoon of cloves, but I only got the clove sticks, so I'm just add a few. Next, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Then you stir the mixture and bring it to a simmer. Now that it's starting to simmer, I'm going to turn the heat off. Next, you need to add the milk mixture into the egg mixture while consistently stirring. But um, I think it would be difficult for me to add the milk mixture into the egg while consistently stirring. So I got my mother's doll spoon. She doesn't know that I took it. So I'm just gonna scoop the milk up and add it to the egg. Then you pour it back into the pot. Then you cook it on low heat while it's uh, stirring consistently until the mixture starts to thicken slightly. Once it's gotten slightly thick, you would remove it from heat or turn the heat off in my case. Then you would add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Add 60 ml of either rum, whiskey or brandy. Add it in and then stir. Funny story with this bourbon. I bought it months ago because I just wanted to taste what bourbon tasted like. And um, after drinking half a bottle of it, I noticed that it was very sweet and I don't think it was for me. But it should work well in this recipe because this is a sweet uh, drink. Yes. Okay, now I need to strain it. Where's my strainer? Now I need to pour it into this glass jar because I'll need to refrigerate it for a minimum of two hours. Put the cap on. Refrigerate for two hours. Well, I left it for just over two hours. Let me just pause them. From the YouTube videos that I watched, it said that you have to have eggnog uh, when it's chilled. That's why you leave it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. Let me get a glass. I have some whipped cream that I'm going to put on top. I'm just shake it up. I'm going to add some nutmeg on the top. Then lastly, a cinnamon quirk. There you are, eggnog. This is the first time I'm ever tasting it in my entire life. 
Yeah, go. Mmm. Probably got a cream mustache. That's actually very good. Oh, I'm gonna have more of it. Yum. That's all I have to say. I can't believe I've lived my entire life without this. Now you know how to make your own eggnog. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Should be down there. You could also like the video, comment, comment on what else you'd like me to make in the next video. Cheers.